Greetings and salutations, I'm Ke. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Master of Magic, where I'm still fumbling about and trying to remember how to play the darn thing. Um, and yeah, and then it's now a new session for me, so let's see. <clears throat> I've done one thing at least, done a little RTFM. Read the F manual sort of thing, because I was wondering which the... Uh, I completely forgot which unit was the ultimate one for the high men, and that is of course the Paladins, I believe, and if we want to actually build those, we need to start getting towards uh, that. I mean, Stag Beetles are cool and all, but I kind of want my Supreme Paladins in at least one city. So we'll see what we can manage. <coughs> oh, oh, sorry about that, my goodness. Having a yeah, it's pollen season. <laughs> it always seems to get to me. Even indoors. Okay, uh, let's see. Where were we? Uh, da -da -da -da. We're building minor skills and all that fun stuff. We're getting up Newcastle up and running. Uh, trying to get some mana reserves. We are... Uh, spell gain is still very much focused... On... Um, mana. But I'm not sure if that's advisable. Hmm. Though I suppose... Hmm. Well, just cause would be nice, but that would require us to have actually have gold to hire units. And as we just found, as we found out last time, we are a bit behind in mana gain. On the bright side, our position is pretty much all on the same continent, so that's not going to be an issue. Is that an out outpost? No, the hamlet of Mecca. So let's see again. We know it's Freya. That's one of them. And uh, Lopana was it? That was the other one. And the green one was Tauron. Yeah. Luckily, Tauron is pretty weak. Lopan is not. That's two chaos wizards. Freya's a life wizard. So she's probably just trying to be peaceful between the uh, the other two, and that's ah. <laughs> uh. Well, it definitely looks like Lopan is going to run away with this game at this rate. Then again, these two nodes are both in the hands of... Taurar. Hmm. And I haven't looked, there might be another continent out here. Maybe we should do that first with our magics. Yeah, it could cause just cause. Mm, not yet. So I'm gonna go with uh, Earth Lore. So I need to see. Okay, so there is yet another continent. Wait a second, red flag. Oh, I thought we were only playing with three other wizards. Oh, of course not. We're playing with four. Okay, and who are you? That's the question. Because you seem to have a continent of your own. Like we do. And also, I did check up on outpost growth. Apparently the factors are unique to the hamlets. So if you have multiple hamlets, that doesn't, they do not cannibalize each other. And of course, and global food gain has nothing to do with growth either. It is purely local. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to do some changes, all the changes too. We're going to build a path in there. We're going to keep hammering out stag beetles. But I'm thinking we need someone else to hammer out outposts. So that we can claim our continent before anyone decides to show up here. And I do think I want to go all high men. Um... I for of course I forgot when checking the manual what the ultimate was for Gnolls. Um, 
Can we get an indication of that? Probably not. Allows, allows, allows. Is it Wolf Riders? I know that was the ultimate for... Uh, uh, for orcs. Uh, we could already build the wolf riders, couldn't we, up here? No, I don't think this is the ultimate. It seems a bit weak for that. Four units fell. Uh, no, can't be then. No specials or anything. Seems a bit dull. Regardless, yeah, I'm gonna go with Hyman, so we need to find a Hyman town that isn't doing anything of note. Which is kind of none of them. Uh, kinda need the miner skills up and running too. Uh, that's fine then. We're gonna let them finish the miner skills and then we're gonna have them hammer out some. Uh, uh, settlers. And we're gonna have this one beeline towards Parthenons and Temples and... It was the Parthenon that from goes that way, right? More mana, and then we need the one after that as well, the Cathedral, I think. And the Armorer's Guild. So it's gonna take a while. And... I think we'd have to adjust our magic a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna try to even out things again. I think that's okay. Yeah, I was. Eh, whoever comments left that remark in the comments. Thank you. So I was wondering how this actually worked because I hadn't. I assumed that we could only. That the engineers could only build in one square at a time, but you can't actually queue it up. So he's gonna queue it up. Build. You're gonna queue up there. There we go. Perfect. To barracks, and that means next up is going to be the smithy. Just so we can get a few uh, swordsmen. Why did you just zoom on him? He's busy. Get another stag beetle uh, patrol. Yeah, the stag beetles are quite potent, but there are only one in each stack. That's the problem with them. Uh, but if we have like three or four of them, that should be enough to actually deal with a certain giant. For that matter, it might be enough to deal with quite a few other things too. I'm probably miles behind the AI, but who cares? <laughs> I'm still learning. Um, okay, let's see. What terrain do you actually have? Do you have, do you have some hills? Only two uh, quite a few hills. Uh, maybe... Well, we don't have any mineral bonuses or anything like that up here. Yeah, it's okay. Go with the miner skills. Let's get all product. Let's get production going. Uh, no people. One unit. Destroying one building. <laughs> ah! Just finished the shrine, and of course they tore it down right away. Fine then. Let's build the shrine again. Because we kind of need it to quell the populace. And also kill the unit. I think that's gonna be fine. Now, that is actually a good sign, so to speak, because if I remember correctly, 
the event engine tries to balance out a player power. So if you have bad events happening to you, that means you're ahead. And yeah, another unit here. Uh, I need one more stack bill. Now, of course, we are starting to run a bit low on gold. Which might mean we need to switch over a few more to farming. Didn't that chain... Dang it, fine. Hammer out another sneak stack bill. Well, this town is now incredibly productive. I want a few more farmers here. To balance out the food reserves. I, as much as I hate to do this, I probably have to do that here as well. Grow food, make gold. Hmm. All these buildings, of course, cost a fortune, so there's that. I mean, pikemen are pretty solid, but we want the, uh, the uh, paladins, which I thought was with the cathedral and the armor's guild. Uh, but it won't show up unless we have both, I'd imagine. Okay, we're gonna go straight for the cathedral. 19 turns, it cost a fortune to build, but this is a very productive town, so... Should be fine. Of course, we're not losing gold by the bucket loads. Let's see... Let's see, true light. Okay, uh, let's dispel. Creatures of life versus creature of death. Well, there's not going to be much creatures of death on this map, I think. Um... Uh, Resurrection and Recall here are both kind of nice. So is Dispel Evil. Because Chaos Creatures... Actually, let's go with Dispel Evil, because there are quite a few Chaos Creatures out and about. And we are going to build... Dang it, nothing that will actually give us money. That's kind of what we need now. Another group of settlers then. Uh, right, we were supposed to explore here to find out who the heck we're facing. Come on. There we go. Do another Earth Lord. Oh boy. Okay, I think we found the other uh, top tier. Feller. Orcs here. But still no capital. But yeah, they definitely spread out. Most likely they're in the south here. Uh, I'll have to wait until next turn to cast the next spell, so... As long as I remember doing that. You know, we need the we need the marketplace. The bank. The bank and farmers market. Uh, okay, what do I need to build the what else do I need to in order to build the bank? Uh, 
And there's you. Uh, da, 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 da. Go here and we'll start the construction of that road soon. You built one outpost. Dude, I think that's gonna be enough. Um, I mean, libraries are the only thing I'm not building many of. Let's build the library. Let's see if we can get to the bank. No, I need to know exactly what I need. The marketplace is one requirement. But banks sound like something we really want right now. Oh yeah, and of course we wanted to throw another exploration spell. Must know which wizard this is. Oh good lord, how many cities do you have, buddy? And this is Jafar. Oh, he's... Uh, oh my goodness, he's all sorcery, I believe. But my word, does he have a lot of cities. That's four cities there. Six, seven, eight. And nine, that we know of, we could have more. Yeah, and I hear I thought Jaff uh, uh, Lopan was scary. Well, this is even more terrifying. I mean, this guy has about the same territory as all these three. Yeah, now we need to step on it. We need to settle in all we can here, I think. Uh, how many cities do we have? We have four, five... Six, seven, eight, and a ninth under construction. Yeah. Um, I'll see what I can manage. Now, as for where we're gonna send these guys. Nothing in here is po possible. Uh, we could create a coastal settlement out here. Get the mithril. Bit risky in here, do that right next to a tower that's not cleared, but then again, everything in this area is also kind of dangerous. And did we have room for some more cities out here? Well, yes, but not exactly <laughs> large hamlets. I mean, getting that would, for the gold would be rather nice. But that would mean settling a city pretty much in the desert. It'll have high production bonuses, but it'll never grow into any kind of size. Uh, well, eventually we'll be able to change terrains, I think. So, there's that. But I think I'll settle... Uh, I'll it. Let's take a chance and go up there. smithy, that means you can build swordsmen, get a few of those, and we have another settler, which we're gonna send, let's see, not here, we need to send you north of this, yes, there was that river area up there, uh, I want you to build a road all the way over here, but you can't do that, because then you're going to go through the Chaos Node. And the Chaos Node will burn you. Um, yeah, okay, build there. Because we might just send a city down there after later. Another Stag Beetle. I want to send all you guys back there. And on the off chance that is the library and something beyond that is what leads to the bank. Let's try to go down that route. Uh, we did build a settler here, so he's not gonna do that. Again, let's try. I need to see what... I need to find out where the bank is hiding. What else he needs. Before we run out of gold. Um... Yeah, I want to cast heroism on these guys, but I want to wait until we're closer to the city. 
because I believe the distance uh, nerfs uh, the effectiveness of the spell, so... Go, Bajan. Okay, you finish the library. And there's nothing else you can build. Other than, say, the shipwright. And now you're kind of upset, huh? Well, these things cost a fortune in upkeep, that's true. But they're so sturdy. Oh, let's see now. Is... Um, is he worth two halberdiers? That's the question. I'd say yes, at least for one unit. So let's build one of them. So we can hopefully quell this guy that's rebelling. Let's see what we can do beyond that. You, on the other hand, are gonna build a road all the way up to that other city. So start by going there. Still heading north, you heading that way. Keep moving. So with these, hopefully we can get this blasted storm giant out of the way, and then we can start clearing out all the other stuff here. Depending on, well, how much damage that giant does to us. Get the marketplace up and running, we need something. Okay, here it will not allow a bank. Could be because it's a Gnoll city, I don't know. Fighter skill, Maritime Guild, not really necessary for us right now. Anime skill, Cavalry. Another one of those instances where I kind of need the manual. <laughs> ah, learning game is hard. Let's go this way route and see where we end up. Uh, I think we already built the Animus Guild, so... Can't be that, right? That leads to... The money. Skills. Honestly, don't know, but hmm. Yeah, we might have to start converting some of our mana into money. Okay, where do we want to place the city up here? Um, I don't want to build too close to either of those towns. We can build in between here. Though that would create a fair bit of overlap. And if I don't, they could come in and build a city here. It's rather nice for gold production. I think we're gonna go with that first. That is also gonna be a bit of overlap. Well, one square overlap, that's okay. Yeah, I think that's where we're gonna go. So 
So hopefully we can get the stag beetles over here before we go bankrupt. <laughs> we'll find out. But that'll be another time. It is time for a break. Thank you for watching.